It's a scene and a song that's been talked about for decades. So who's the kid behind the banjo? Now, more than 50 years later, he's telling us all about it. Going My Way with Alan Williams. Brought to you by the Lawson Family Foundation. Planting positive seeds for the future. In 1954, Arthur Guitar Boogie Smith composed a song called Feudin' Banjos. Andy Griffith even played it on one of his episodes before it became a hit on the 1972 movie Deliverance. That song made Billy Redden famous. I really enjoyed it. You were, how old were you back then? 13. How did, how did they, uh... They, they come to school to go around trying to find experts. And why did they pick you? I, I, I don't know. In the movie, Billy is depicted as mentally challenged. Billy Redden is not that at all. I found him in his single wide home in Rabin Gap, Georgia, not far from his hometown of Clayton, and in the area where a lot of the filming of the movie Deliverance took place. Now, after 52 years, there's still a lot of memories from that one scene on the porch. For instance, Billy didn't play the banjo in the film. In fact, he can't play it at all. I'm trying to learn. Trying to learn. And uh, at that time, how did they figure it out that you couldn't play, and what did they do to make it look like you played? Uh, I really can't tell you, because I don't know how they did it. So you just sat there and mm -hmm. act like I was playing it. In the movie, the banjo player was hidden behind Billy, with his arms in Billy's sleeves picking away. Billy says it took a week and a half to get it right. Billy's retired now after working 13 years at the local Walmart, but there's still a lot of memories from that one scene on the porch. Did you have any clue that that was gonna take off like it has? I figured it would. For quite some time, Billy has had health issues and his friends and family started a GoFundMe, which topped his goal of $20,000. He says he promises to use some of that money for banjo lessons. Going my way in Rabin Gap, Georgia, I'm Alan Williams. Driven by the belief that every life has equal value, the Lawson Family Foundation strives to make a positive difference for East Tennesseans. This week, we honor the Wesley House Community Center. The community was established in 1907 to provide child care for working mothers. After 117 years, they're still providing the same services in the Beaumont, Lonsdale, and Mechanicsville communities in Knoxville. The Wesley House Community Center and the Lawson Family Foundation sowing positive seeds for the future.